Hey guys, it's I Want a Turtle. Hope everyone's having a good day. And we are back to open some more team up. We got 12 more packs. Um, if you are enjoying the team up videos, please hit that like button. I really do appreciate it. If you're not subscribed, I encourage you to do so. So you get um, hit that bell for notifications for when we do post new videos. Uh, we're gonna be doing team up for a good amount of time. And without further ado, let's do this. Now we are still looking for our first Magikarp and Whelmer tag team card. I think we have all the other ones. Um, not not in full art and hyper rare and stuff like that, but we have yet to get any of the Magikarp one. So that's what we're targeting right now. So for our first pack, we got a Water Energy Return Label, Kangaskhan, Cosmoan, Vulpix, Pancham, Squirtle, Klefki. Voltorb, Unidentified Fossil Reverse, and Cabalion Full Art. Okay. This is the first Cabalion, I think, that we have. And to be honest, I don't know much about Cabalion. E. But, alright, so we do have a full art pull, and from our first pack, nonetheless. <clears throat> so, very strong start. All right, next pack, we got Dark Energy, Evelyn, Nanu, Farfetch'd, Poochyanna, Nidoran, Pancham, Voltorb again, Klepki again, Ponard, Reverse, and a Ninetales. Rest memory. Those cards are very stupid, in my humble opinion. Pharisee, Charmander, Helioptile, Tentacruel, Reverse, and Ferrothorn. I feel like a lot of the um, psychic Pokemon, or Pokemon that, or maybe not so much that one, are ones that you don't really associate with being psychic type. Primarily like the Nidorans, the Tentacool. Alright, here we go. Dragonair. Fossil. Rapidash. A Meowth. Geodude. Grimer. Pidgey. Bronzor. Judge's Whistle. I like this card. And a Incineroar. Hmm, I feel like our first box, we were pretty fortunate at not getting these GXs. Um game primarily the tag teams and this one so far seems to be the other way around although maybe maybe these cards I'm not giving enough credit I think we talked about this before we got a Persian metal goggles gold duck grimer Execute, Larvitar, Meow, Nidoran, Pidgey Reverse, and a B. Oh, I haven't seen this one yet. For double colors, energy 90, 10 damage to itself, and if uses attack only, a Pokemon has damage counters that both active Pokemon. What? Only if this Pokemon has any damage counters on it, both active Pokemon are knocked out? Hmm, this is stage two, and I imagine Kakuna is pretty bad. But that Destiny Stinger. Wow, that's. That's crazy. Like, imagine you Destiny Stinger a tag team card. So it's like three prizes for one. Hmm. These, this set, like, I feel like the non GX cards, if there's a slow shift away from the GX and. I feel like Lost Thunder doesn't exactly count because it's all built around the same mechanic. Or I, I wouldn't say it doesn't count, but it's ooh Dragonite first one of those. Once during your turn, before you attack, you may have you may search your deck for a supporter, reveal it, and put it into your hand. Hmm. Wow, a reoccurring. 
type of lele? Wow. Hmm, wonder if that's another good example of just a non GX card that's so good. Okay, so this tag team set, like, they go in both directions where there could be a new meta forming around these tag team. Where, so now, away from two to three prize thing, mechanics as far as being really strong, uh, as well as the single prize Pokemon. Hmm, I find that very interesting. Nidoran and a Zeraora. This was one card that I'd never managed to pull in Lost Thunder. All right, we got Nidorino, Fairy Charm, War Turtle, Vulpix, Pancham, Squirtle, Klefki, Voltorb, Nidoran, and Zeb Zebstrika. If this Pokemon evolved to Blitzel this turn, this 90 more damage. I think, um, for, uh, for Evolve Riolu, um, had a very similar attack. Then Mach Bolt for 100. That one seems a little underwhelming. Lucario, that's the one. <laughs> blanking on his name. All right, let's see. Lightning energy, Pupitar, Electro Charger. Actually, I feel like I haven't seen many of these. Charmeleon, Bronzor, Klefki, Pidgey, Emolga, Magikarp, Zangoose, Reverse, Headhunt. Look at the top six cards of your deck. Reveal any number of Pokemon and find there and add them to your hand. Interesting slash for 40, which is underwhelming, and got a Mr. Mime. All right, we got three packs left. Still struggling to open these packs. All right, we got a grass energy Tauros, another interesting mechanic. For a cat, Kabuto, Mareep, Pharisee, Charmander, Helioptile, Mankey, Ferrothorn, and Alolan Ninetales. I'm not sure if we looked at this card yet, but interesting ability. Uh, I think it was similar to like the Hoopa. Uh, then, but the Aurora Beam feels kind of weak. Just 80 damage, but when you're immune to the GXs, maybe that's okay. Yeah, not only is there the non-GX cards getting stronger, but they have like, some of them feel very targeted, like the Bronzor. I just can't take fire damage. Brock's Grit. And we got a Lapras. Oh, this is another one. The Hydro Pump feels so strong. Just for one for one water energy, you'd have 40 and then 270. Although I guess three energy to get to 100, like that, that is pretty expensive. Uh, but for a basic type, and it has flexibility, and you know you do have the option of doing less damage when you have less energy. All right, so we're already on our last pack. So let's see if we can't get something good to wrap up the video. Judge's Whistle. Charmander, Hone Edge, Pidgeotto, Nidoran, Litten, Reverse, which is kind of cool. And we got, ooh, there is our Hyper Rare. We got the Hoopa. Very nice. All right, let's see. Rogue Ring, search your deck for two cards, add them to your hand, shuffle your deck. All right, I guess. This Pokemon can't use its attack during next turn and the lighting's not good enough to read the last one but there you have it we have our hyper rare uh i'm still i, I still feel biased towards the tag team cards but this hoopa does look pretty cool um it's not exactly symmetric but i'm always a fan when it looks like things are pretty uh, symmetrical so very nice pull there and a very good opening. Three, uh, three hits as far as GXs, and we got the 
the whole range so where we have a regular GX and Incineroar. So a quick recap, we have a Incineroar GX, Cabalion Full Art, and the Hoopa GX Rainbow Rare. So, and not, I don't know off the top of my head, I wonder if this is all of the non-tag team GXs. So, and since, to be honest, I am going for those tag team cards, um, I think it's great that we got all these. I'm hoping now that we've got our system, we can focus on getting those tag teams, primarily that Magic Carp. I never got one of those boxes where you get that in the promo version, so we still don't have any of those. Uh, so, hopefully we can pull that very soon. Other than that, thanks for watching, guys. If you did enjoy the content, please hit that like button. Uh, subscribe for future content, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.